Those pesky mosquitoes we've been swatting at all summer long are more than just a nuisance. As the Earth's temperature rises, so does the risk of diseases that mosquitoes carry. Dr. David Fishman is an epidemiologist at the University of Toronto's Dalalana School of Public Health. He's our guest this morning. Welcome to your morning. Thanks for having me. You know, mosquitoes are known as the deadliest creature on Earth. How are conditions changing here in Canada that are helping mosquitoes thrive? Well, conditions, thanks to largely to climate change, are um, changing in some interesting ways that facilitates spread of disease by a bunch of critters mosquitoes and ticks. And it's easier to see uh, the effects of climate change with ticks. For example, 20 years ago, 25 years ago, I graduated from med school. We didn't really have Lyme disease in Canada. Now we do. Mm. It's a big problem in Ottawa. It's a big problem in Niagara. And that's because those creatures have expanded their range north. As, um, as, as the weather's gotten warmer, they're now able to s establish populations in Ontario. The same thing seems to be happening with some mosquito species. And the big worry with mosquitoes is a kind of mosquito called Aedes mosquitoes, which are bad actors. They spread uh, Zika, they spread uh, uh, yellow fever, they spread uh, a disease called dengue. Mm -hmm. And nobody really knows how far north those are going to go under uh, climate change scenarios. But as the living conditions for them expand. Yeah. Well, they're already in Florida and Texas, and there's this right. projection that they may go up as north as Chicago. Chicago's getting pretty close to Toronto, and there's a lot of wobble in these projections, so no one's really too sure. I think the other thing with mosquitoes is these different mosquito-borne diseases that people may hear about, like West Nile, like Zika virus, mm -hmm. have tipping points. Uh, for dis infectious diseases to emerge, we think about something called a reproduction number. Right. For it really to explode, you need each old case to make more than one new case. And in mosquito-borne diseases, that's really dependent on their biting rate, which is a function of temperature. So the warmer it gets, the more infectious these diseases get. Let's take a look at a place where this is a problem. A national dengue epidemic has been declared in the Philippines. 622 people have died so far this year. That's up 98% from where they were this time last year. So what's the likelihood, given what you told us, about the expanding uh, range for mosquitoes of that coming here? Yeah, I, I, I don't know, but I think, I think this is sort of, uh, dengue is a scary disease, and part of what happens with dengue is you get different strains of the virus, and when people get infected with one strain and then another, that can feed that mortality rate. Mm -hmm. But I know there are a bunch of big dengue uh, epidemics going on right now, Philippines, Bangladesh, that are different from what people have seen before. Teasing out whether that's climate change related or not is difficult. But I think, you know, the precautionary principle would say here in Canada, we know this mosquito is there in the United States, we know it's moving north. Right. Maybe we should be thinking about what happens if it gets this far north. Really quickly, you know, we, we see West Nile, which didn't exist here until right. 1999. Toronto had its first reported case last week. You'd be yeah. aware of that. What can people in the city do or outside the city do to protect themselves from mosquitoes? Yeah, I think Toronto Public Health and other agencies have great advice. It mostly comes down to using mosquito repellents that contain DEET. They work really well. <laughs> There's advice around wearing long pants and long sleeves, but that's not too appealing when it's 100% humidity and 30 degrees. But, exactly. Uh, but yeah, people can check on the Toronto Public Health website. They've got lots of great guidance. Dr. Fisman, good to have you here. Thank, Thank you. Thank you so much. Thanks for watching. If you like this, be sure to subscribe here. And you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.